So, you want to buy a Taco Bell, but you don't have enough money to rent an entire building. Well, just buy a taco and then just name your house the Taco Bell. I'm sure it'll be the same thing. Hey guys, I'm about to by Kyle McKay, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this cool, uh, gemstone looking, looking, uh, 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 uh material that looks kind of similar to the polytomic material from some specific, um, video games um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get started today it's actually super easy it actually um it, it, it's just really just one node i mean kind of not really it's kind of maybe two three let's go ahead and open up the uh the node shader editor i'm put my cursor in the top left until it turns into a plus and just click and drag uh split my window into two and then just change this right here this little button to the shader editor boom nice and easy i'm gonna get rid of this by just clicking it dragging it away and then uh, we can zoom in here. Now you can see we literally have two nodes. It's, I mean, like I said, it's technically three because we I duplicated the same one, but it's literally just two nodes. So we have a color ramp and a Voronoi. So hit Shift A and search for a uh, Voronoi texture. Boom. And then Shift A, Shift A once again, and then search for a color. Nope, that's not the one. And then search for a color ramp node. Boom right there now when we, when we have the, both of these we're gonna go ahead and uh hook them up so just plug the color of the verano into the color ramp and then the color ramp into the base color of the principal bsdf which should be on an ed uh, material by default um and what we're going to do is i'm going to change a couple of things here so this is on 3d on f1 and then uh, this bad boy right here i'm not going to try to pronounce that we're going to change the scale to 11 and make sure the random is all the way up um and then you should get something that looks like this now the second thing that we've done is um, we've, uh, this is what it looks like without the Verona hooked up to the normal, but um, I just hit Shift D, duplicated that, put it down here, and then plugged the color into the noise. And that's what we get. Literally, that's all, that's what we get. Now, the colors that we're getting are from, is from this bad boy right here. So by default, it would look like this. So it should look like this by default, which looks very uh, terrible. So the way we fix that is we go ahead and hit this little plus button right here twice hit this twice and you can move these little points around and like and and, and change the the color and and the the position so what i did was i made this a purple color like that there we go right there i made this one another purple color right there and then i made this one another purple color just a little darker yeah and then this one is a black color there you go so you just click this little box and then it opens this it opens this little circle wheel up and you can just change the color to whatnot, whatever color you want, obviously. Um, so then I just plug that up into the Verono in between the principal BSDF and the Verono texture. And then we have literally this. That's literally all that it is. <laughs> it's it's so good. And then of course we have the metallic set to um, 0.5, which is the default, the specular all the way up to one, and then the roughness is down to like three eight point three eight. There you go. Nice. So with that done, that is literally it. That's literally all the material is. And it looks really good. I have a light moving around right now. So you can, that's why it's like moving, by the way. So I have a little lamp being animated, moving around so you can see what I was talking about. But it, it, it looks good. It just looks so good. Like literally, it just sparkles and shimmers. And when you move around, it looks cool. But uh, yeah, that's literally all that it is. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.